President Trump is headed back to Indiana tonight for another campaign appearance, and these approval numbers may explain why the GOP wants his support here in Indiana. This is the second time in just a few days that the president has given in-person support for Republican Senate candidate Mike Braun. Our Kevin Rader is live tonight in Fort Wayne, where people have been lining up all day to get into that rally. Kevin? Your compassion. Lord, we lift up prayer for our leaders. May yeah, in fact, some people have been lining up actually for about since last night. We're in the middle of prayer opening prayer right now by Secretary of State Connie Lawson. Uh, the president, of course, will be taking this podium where Connie is speaking right now at about 6.30. We should say we caught up with a group from central Indiana near Muncie who came here to see the president. And they, of course, think that they wanted to hear the president for themselves. We thank you for the pleasure. Okay, so I had this made so that we can get Trump reelected for 2020. Yeah. 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 You're not even thinking of 2018. No. No, <laughs> 2020. We're here to help make America great again. No. You made a little trip. Yes, we yeah. did. We did. We clocked out of work early to be here to support our president. Yeah. Oh, we're so excited to be here. We're thanking Jesus. <laughs> You know, President Trump is not coming alone. Uh, just last Friday in Southport, he brought along Bobby Knight. Tonight, he's bringing along former Notre Dame football coach Lou Holtz. That will no doubt appeal to these folks here tonight. But reporting live, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. All right, Kevin, thank you. Braun's opponent, meanwhile, incumbent Democratic Senator Joe Donnelly, spent part of his day campaigning in Anderson before heading to Fort Wayne as well. He also published an editorial about why Hoosiers should vote for him. Donnelly is trying to get reelected to a second term in the Senate. Donnelly also received some presidential support over the weekend. Former President Barack Obama joined him at a rally in Gary just yesterday.